Within Indonesia is one of the world's weirdest volcanoes. This volcano regularly erupts bright blue lava that flows downhill creating a series of flames marking it as a truly unique active volcano. These photos being shown on screen are not color enhanced or photoshopped as the lava truly is that color. The volcano which produces this strange phenomena is called Kawa Ejen. This video covers the recent eruptions from this volcano and states the general hazard which it poses in the future. The Ejen volcano can be found in central Indonesia where it is located on the very eastern section of the island of Java. This volcano is in a very geologically active area and is located 21 kilometers east-northeast of the Rayong stratovolcano. If you have clicked on this video, you are probably wondering why the lava is blue, so you'll get straight to the point. The reason why the lava which erupts from the volcano is blue is that the lava is incredibly enriched in the element sulfur. Although sulfur is typically a bright yellow color in its elemental form, when burned, it burns as a bright blue. The fumaroles located around the Ejen volcano regularly output large amounts of sulfur crystal. However, sulfur has a low melting point of only 115 degrees Celsius or 239 degrees Fahrenheit. The heat from these fumaroles is thus sufficient to melt the sulfur crystal, thus generating beautiful blue flows of lava. However, if you look at Ejen's geologic history, you will see that this volcano has some other unique qualities to it. The Ejen volcano began forming around 300,000 years ago when magma related to plate subduction off the southern coast of Indonesia reached the surface. Over the subsequent 240,000 years, numerous explosive eruptions built a tall stratovolcano out of layers of andesitic lava and ash. By 60,000 years ago, this volcano was 22 kilometers wide and towered over the surrounding landscape as its peak was 3,500 meters above sea level. So, why isn't this volcano still around today? The answer is that much like Tambora or Rinjani, the volcano experienced a catastrophic eruption which destroyed much of the volcano. This eruption was highly destructive and created a 20 kilometer wide caldera. In the aftermath of this eruption, a number of volcanic cones grew out of various sections of the caldera. The first of these to form was Blau, which erupted around 50,000 years ago. 5,000 years later, an 800 meter tall cone known as Pendu was built. Over the subsequent tens of thousands of years, several other volcanic cones were constructed. The volcanic cone which we now refer to as Ejen did not begin forming until 640 BC. Over the subsequent 2,000 years, this cone built up 900 meters above the caldera floor as it was constructed over two existing volcanic cones. Since 1796, Ejen has erupted 10 times. Very few of its recent eruptions created lava as the primary eruption type resulted in a series of explosions of water in the crater lake. The most recent of these phreatic eruptions was documented in 2002. So what hazards does this volcano pose? I need to first state that this volcano is very dangerous and does not even need to erupt to cause problems. The crater lake at the summit of Ejen has a pH of 0.3 and gives off lots of toxic fumes including hydrogen sulfide. Since the crater is the site of a sulfur mining operation, hundreds of people are regularly exposed to dangerous levels of these fumes. If you were to ever visit this volcano, wearing a gas mask is a requirement. If a gen was to erupt again, it would most likely create another series of explosions at its acidic crater lake. However, as given by the history of this volcano, future eruptions could occur anywhere within the pre-existing caldera. Future eruptions could create pyroclastic flows, bombs of lava, and potentially cause landslides. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.